Grab the beer grubs. It's All just right. a little too personal for me. So um, yeah, so we got Cephalon versus Dakpo in Losers Semifinals. Winner of this will go on to play Lunchables in Losers Finals. Winner of that will go on to play Denti, who is waiting in Grand Finals. Dude, strong bad. The reverse character main tournament was like the best thing ever. What's a reverse hey, character main? It was. You're the only one who knows how to play more than like five characters. Yeah, get destroyed, nerd. And everyone got to use Ivy's or against me. Wait, highly, and what's the secret? What secret are we talking about? Yeah, oh, that was the best. It was a dollar tournament, and I had like a 10 game set with Lunchables and Grand Finals Wait, for so like a five dollars. How does this tournament go? You have to play. The other yeah, I had everybody write down their mains on a sheet of paper, and then you can only every you can only play whoever your opponent made. So Lunchables played Lucas, and I played uh, I played Toon Link. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'd like oh, to god, great match. spacing on that up tilt. So, let's commentate on the match. Dakpo has an early lead, but Game & Watch is really light, so his leads don't go as far. Nice bacon. Oh, good stab. Oh, nope, jumps out of it. It's really tricky to pin Game & Watch down with combos, because he can just, he can safe, see, he can safely mash up B. Yeah, pretty much. What is so it, any, on frame one? Yeah, it's frame one. So like most characters where you can, uh, most characters that can jump at it, like your combo, it's not safe to match double jump, so you can get away with, you know, your combos not being perfect. Oh, just chucks him up there, that shouts to the handcock. The GG up throw. Yeah. Alright, so, back to neutral, Sethlon's got center stage. Just keeping Dakpo corner, oh, forces the roll. And that's really a bad thing to do at basically any scenario with uh, Game & Watch. His roll's terrible. Probably worse than the game. Oh, these combos. I have found that teching in place is basically never good versus Decker. Oh, great forward smash to catch his jump. He's still living though, unless... Yeah, good, good DI plus the bucket break allows him to live for just a little bit longer. Halting that momentum. Yeah. Oh, he tries to punish the spot dodge. Oh, nice. Good pressure. Dykepo is rolling a lot. Oh! Punishes the tech in place. And Dykepo's the one who always tells me don't roll. And then. Yeah, Dak. Well, I mean. Yeah. It's really just don't roll versus Dakpo. Yeah. Like, he's pretty good at reading people in general. Oh, no. Oh, I'm that's unfortunate. Land on the stage, I'd imagine. But, like, specifically as, like, in co the context of reading when people are going to roll, he always knows. Yeah. Even when I don't want to roll. It just makes you roll. God, look at these combos. Oh, spot dodge to down tilt. Oh, nice parachute, but Roy's going to make it back. Roy too strong. Oh! Oh, no. Cephalon just YOLO. Wow. Just, just, just get off me with that jab. That was so scary. Too much combo. Yeah, Professor Pro has the right attitude. It's not so much that rolling is always bad. It's just that most players roll too when it's punishable. Yeah, I don't have the smartest rolls, but I haven't been playing PM for... All that long, so I, I just roll around in melee, and it's just gotten to the point where nobody remembers how to punish rolls because everybody stopped in melee a long time ago. My down B is a, a safe roll, except for the 12 frames of uninvincible startup. Well, a roll, a roll has four frames of non invincible startup and cooldown. Eh. I don't know, I get punished a lot less for. Uh, down B shenanigans. Well, yeah. Oh, dips oh. a little bit too low, but oh, he healed himself out of throw kill percent. But it doesn't matter. Not quite. Was that back air? I think. Yeah, that's back air. Roy's primary kill move in the air is back air. Yeah, that is. Or a only kill move. He can do flare blades sometimes, but that was the option in melee. Cephalon has actually been going for that less. Uh, because back air is just so much more powerful. Ooh. 
I think that side view is actually supposed to be an up B because that's what that's what I would have done in that scenario. And basically, I'm the best, so obviously. Yeah, that's why I'm not in the tournament. Isn't that why you're number one in Texas? Yeah. yeah totally. Ooh. Oh god, he's going for those janky Smashville platform combos. Oh, Beck, I, oh, we were talking about Lucario. Yeah, I, I main Lucario. He's a lot of fun, but uh, a lot of work. Wow. That was like the perfectly spaced neutral air. Did not. Oh! oh that's Sick what text. I'm talking about. Tech that. That was amazing. Shout outs to Keem. Keem would have tech that. Shout outs to Techie in general. Oh, shield stab. Ha, <laughs> that's why they call it Texas, Fury said beside me. Fantastic. <laughs> Rolex, I hate Snake, and you're the worst person ever. Oh, the up smash. Alright. Okay, we are sitting right under a vent because I'm cold. Oh, yeah, I am freezing right now. Oh, nice. Is that, is that stream allowable? Is that in our PG range? Cold as tennis balls, yep. There you go. Thanks, Oracle. Cold as snowballs. Oh, challenge. Challenge is the forward air. Game Watch is really difficult to challenge in the air because there's a lot of really quick hitboxes he can throw at. Like, as you saw there, Cephalon was getting punished for just barely misspacing something because Dakpo threw at the forward air. Oh! Oh, that was that would scary. Have been so good. And that oh, Dakpo takes the game. Very nice. Dakpo's legit. Dude, Dakpo is so good. He's so talented. He literally disappeared for six months and just showed up. Yeah, pretty much. Like, I didn't see him at tourneys for the longest time, and now he's showing up and taking our money. Yeah. Which I have in my pocket. I had to make sure. Yeah, Frozen, you, you have betrayed the blue furry. I'm sad. Dude, Frozen's Lucario will forever be better than his B2. He just hasn't accepted it yet. God, can we please ban this color in tournaments? You cannot see when he's invincible. Oh, wow, you can. I never thought of that. You can barely see him on this stage. I, I've lost games because of that. I've lost games because I couldn't tell when he was invincible. Like, are, you, are, you, are you Johnny about char character color? It's the only one. Because he's just one color. He has no identifying features. They should just make him completely white. That'll fix your problem. Let's just make him invisible. Oh, yeah. Just oh, just runs up and does it. Point blank range. Oh, nice grab. Just wakes up with the grab. Perfectly space up air to challenge that down air. Game Watch has really good tools to get out of juggles. Some of the best in the game. Yeah, frame up, frame one up B, but I mean, in general, it's just like a safe hitbox to throw out when you're landing. is something that most characters do not have access to. Yeah, unfortunately. No, fortunately, because then, if everyone had that, then the game would be Brawl, where characters are in an advantage position when they're above you. True, true. Oh, gets a forward air? No back air. I don't know, even when I played Brawl, people were telling me don't try to land with an attack. I played Pikachu, so I don't... Well, I mean, some characters can, but in... Oh, that was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wins mom. Alright, good juggles from Seth Juan. Seth Juan, Roy has some of the best juggles in the game. His up air is one of the best juggling tools. It's awesome. Would agree. Yeah, game, well, Game and Watch's up throws lead to a lot, but. Ooh! Dakpo barely jumps out of it. I think down air is supposed to not be safe on block. Oh! Nice edge guard! Nice. Oh, stage spike. That's going to do it. No double jump. Sethalon with a commanding two stock lead. Can Dakpo bring. I mean, he's just one nine away. He's got one in five, ladies and gentlemen. One in five chance. 20% chance to just take this stock for free. Knockback stacking with the bacon. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Falco. Oh, gets him with the credit card. 
There's a seven and an eight. Oh, a four. I was. It was explained to me once how uh, Game and Watch's hammer, like the how the dots work. Yeah, how the dots work. It uh, it put. Oh, that was sick. I'll explain later. There's some nerdy math stuff. Okay, nerdy math stuff later. Got it. Oh, bad roll from Deco. Uncharacteristic. Maybe his nerves are getting to him a little bit. Possibly, yeah. He's never be. Oh, that was oh, just. Oh, that was. Oh, yep. That's Dakpo. gonna do it. Dakpo, don't roll. Dakpo just rolling around. Definitely was probably the nerves. Okay, so back to what I was saying. The uh, the dots above Game and Watch's hammer. Yeah. 